Welcome to Coach's Corner. My name is Jason Demon-Centis, and this week I'm with Richard Peoples, midfield coach. Richard, last week we um, we were sort of outplayed by the bigger bodies at Box Hill, but um, we had that late final quarter comeback, which was uh, pleasing to see. Yeah, it was, Jason. We, we could have given the game away, but um, the guys rallied, and um, you know we got within 16 points, and the quarter gone had it gone for another five or six minutes, who knows might, what might have happened, but uh, not to be, and... Uh, yeah, the big bodies uh, just got us in the end. Yeah, and um, it was also uh, a special day for Kobe with Nick Carnell having his 150th game. Um, how do you think Nick played personally? Oh, I think Pete said it after the game. It's definitely his, probably his, uh, his best game for the year. The way he performed and the way he led the side was uh, really uh, outstanding, I thought. And uh, yeah, I think he got us going and got us back into the game personally. Absolutely, yeah, those two goals in the final quarter, one from that tough angle, it was a fantastic goal. And we have the team here from that game against Box Hill. Um, as you can see, we had to play our Ruckman back in centre-half, back for periods of the game. Um, we were just so stretched. Um, so who do you think also played particularly well? Oh, it was probably a tough day. It was a game where we didn't play well for four quarters as a group, and I, I think that was reflected in the playing group. But, you know, Danny Union popped up and kicked four at different stages. Um... Nick Carnell, who we've already spoken about, um, and I even think um, Clifton, um, who had a job, I th did a reasonable job on the day. So, worked pretty hard. Uh, he had a tagging job, and uh, he did a pretty good job for us. He did. I'm pretty sure he had a game high nine tackles, which was obviously pleasing to see. And we've got, just got some some development guys here who um, have been stepping up in in various games this year. Um, Jordy Rogers, Omar Abdallah. Um, Fabrant Catasano was best last week um, and also Liam and Julian is there um, anything you want to uh, share with us about these players? Oh look I think they're all a, a big chance this week to um, come into the side Geordie's been terrific um, since he's come back from a broken jaw he's been outstanding, he hasn't missed a beat Julian's kept working away and, and Liam I think's made some um, real inroads in the last couple of weeks So, um, and even Omar I think um, he had a bit of a setback early on, but he's he started to come back into a bit of form. So, yeah, we've got a, a few options up our sleeves, but um, I think certainly at least one of those will come into the side. Yep, and just finally, we do play North Ballarat this Sunday at Piranha Park at 2 o'clock. Um, they're sort of a community side, so sometimes... Uh, not Sorry, not community side, a uh, countryside, one of the only two in the VFL. So they sort of get lost in the shuffle. But what do we know about North Ballarat? Oh, well, they've uh, coached by Jared Fitzgerald, and he uh, does a... Well, has done an excellent job. He's a bit of a legend of the uh, VFL, so they're not going to be any easy beats. They're obviously aligned with North Melbourne. Possibly have Daniel Wells coming back this week. Uh, big Eric Wallace in the ruck. The American import is uh, starting to show some things. And, you know, that Mullins uh, last week played really well, or Mullet rather, on the uh, wing. So they've got some really good players. Like to hold on the footy, like to move it pretty quick. So it'll be an interesting day. No worries, it will be. That's, th that's this Sunday, 2 o'clock at Piranha Park. Um, there's no development game this week, so uh, but still get down for the seniors game. Rich, thanks very much. Thanks, Jason.